Hello Inventors, in this video we will learn how we can create a word puzzle game using MIT App Inventor. So let me show you the demo of this app first, then we will create this app step by step. So you can see the word count and enter word and check. So these letters, 5 letters we have, so we have to make some word using all these letters. So you can increase the letters, so I have just used here only 5. So let me just make some words, so using this letter like A, just check this one is working fine apple and then check good job if i just make suppose ap something is word is ap called i think check wrong word nothing word count is two so here we go so we are using your mit app inventor so click on start new project and my project name is word puzzle and okay so that's our first screen so i'm going to use your canvas so click on that drawing and animation and you'll find your canvas this one and we need here two layouts and one is for horizontal arrangement this one and second one is vertical arrangement here now make all these as a fill parent like this make this one also we can make the height is 30 percent something like this or we can make this one height is also uh, maybe it's it will be fine for 20 percent is fine for this cool so that's our canvas here or you can make this one height a little bit more is like 20 percent we don't need too much space here we need a space here in that canvas now we need here first thing is here we will use your one simple label for word count and one is for counting the word and let me just check and that is like word count something like this and make this one 20 pixel like this make this all that thing in a center like this and make this text label to zero and make sure that the font size you can increase that 25 or 30 around like this you can change background color of that so i will use your colors.co so this will generate some amazing color plates for us so let's try this okay cool and export adding plates you can choose any plates here from here so i will choose that color so i might have to enter background color custom and then just change it here and make this one is text color is white like this and this one is also text color is white cool white we can make this font this font canvas like the height is like you can make it 15 percent also cool now that's our word count and that is our canvas so we need to use your image script so click on drawing animation here and use your image script like this here and make sure this height and width is you can make it 50 50 pixel or maybe you can make it 100 100 pixel let me just try with 50 50 pixel and choose one image click on picture upload file choose file and i have uh, some files here you can see the a.png p.png i will give you that all that files in the description link so open that a.png and okay and let's see that's the size okay it's cool okay you can decrease this uh, size also so, but uh, it's fine for me like so okay so if you are using a multiple letters or if you are using around maybe 20 or 30 letters so make sure the size should be uh, smaller okay so just copy paste this three four and five i have five letters so you can increase the letters but i'm using your only five letters so e this one this one now we need to use your word checker so we need here click on user interface one text box we need it here one and we need one button to check that word like this and we need one label to display that it's a good job it's a wrong word something like that and now let me just check that text box hint is like enter word something and make this on this in a center center and this one is also in a center like this cool you can make this word arrangement it is like height is automatic like this and now change that text to nothing here and you can make it like a good job 
good job or something like uh, you know uh, you can make this one 20 or well done or something like that whatever you want and you can change the background color of that so i will use here this font again as a background color so custom here paste this oh, sorry this one and i will use that good job word as a uh, in a green okay so this will look like like this but i will change that i think this should be something darker so it will look cool or oh, you can make this one magenta okay cool it's fine now in that button color i will make that button color something this one and then just change that button to like check word this one and then background color you can make custom and then change it here like this change that text color to white and make this at least 80 something cool so that's our word this check word and good job is word and make sure to remove that word from here because we need to use your wrong word and check word with the same uh with the same label so now that's the overall design now we need to code for this game okay so go to the block section so first of all we need to do anyone can drag and drop all these letters okay so how we can do that so it's simple block click on that image spread one first so in that image spread you'll find the dragged this one okay so we can drag the image spread one and so whenever we drag so we have to move this so you will find your move option this one We need to move it to current X and the current Y. Like this. Okay. Now image speed drag and image speed drag to move like current X and current Y. Like that, we need to just do some all like this. So like two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we have five vectors. So we will just all the change it. Cool. So we have five uh, dragged image spread. Now we have done. Now we need to use create a list. So click on list and you can see the make a list, this one. And we will use your one variable is like in a slice global. And I will just say that the global variable name is words. And uh, I can put here some words. So I know that using all these letters, using all five letters, I can make apple, then a double p app and uh, and one more thing is like uh, L A P lab. Okay, so I can just use here some word text, and then here I can just say Apple app. Lab. Okay, so you, you need to figure out like how many words we can make using all these letters. Okay, so we just need to add all these letters here. Cool. So that is, um, we have just found three letters. Now we have to use condition here, simple. So whenever someone click on that button, it means whenever they complete the word. Okay. And then whenever they click on that button one. Okay. So we need to check. So you can see the control and you'll see condition here if. And click on that list and you'll find here one thing is like is in list thing okay so call it co and the thing is which thing which thing thing is means like which text so text box one dot text see this one text if this text box one text in which list in this word list is here then then we need to increase the value of that label you can see wait a second go to the design and find it this is the zero it means level two so level two should be increased so level two so i will create the value it's like count count and the count is like math zero for now but uh, whenever the word is in our list then we will increase set global count is math is equal to get current global count and then just increase the value by one like this okay and then we need to display that text also okay so which text we have to display so it's like good job so where is that text is like in that in that label three 
ओके सो लेवल थ्री डॉट टेक्स्ट सो जस्ट टाइप योर लेवल थ्री सिलेक्ट लेवल थ्री डॉट सैट दिस वन हेयो एंड द टेक्स्ट इज लाइक गुड जॉब लाइक दिस गुड जॉब एंड आई एम गोइंग टू चैन दैट लेवल थ्री डॉट टेक्स्ट दिस वन कलर ओके सो सपोज लेवल लेवल थ्री डॉट dot color so you will find here that the text color this one and i will make that text color is green this one okay and if if the condition is right but the else if the condition is wrong then we need to just set here level 3 dot text color is like red and then just set that is like wrong word like this You have to set that global count value in the word. So in that level, which one level? In this level, you can see level two. So click on that level two, level two, and set level two dot text. This one, and this will get the value from here, like this. Cool. So that's the overall code. Okay, it's a very simple code, basic code, and that's the overall design. So if you need any help on that, so just comment on the video. I'll try my best to solve your problem. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video, and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye bye.